keeps your eye on the sky, Colin Cowling. And I'll be bringing you every detail. Hey guys, Alex Rock. Fisher from ConsoleCreatures.com. Today we're going to be looking at Disney's Planes. This is on, it's a Wii U exclusive actually. It's also on 3DS. Here we go, folks. Alright, so uh, while this is going, some a few things about this game. That This mode specifically, it reminds me a lot of Mario Kart. Because if you look at it, it does act a lot like it. I mean, there are power-ups you can get. Um, there are. It's easy to dodge, though. I didn't really know what I was doing, as you can see, or don't really know still what I'm doing. But there's power-ups you can get uh, involving, but you cannot throw them back, which is a little annoying, because I'm, I'm in first right now, and there's no way for me to try and make the people behind me go slower. So, yeah, this is, um, it's, it's not that bad, it's not a bad play, or uh, flying game, really, I mean, if you look at it, it does control pretty smooth, it, it, it's pretty smooth, it, uh, it plays, it, it's, it plays well, it's, it's not trying to be, like, a revolutionary flying game, really, it's just trying to be a game that's fun and, I guess, some kids might like. Uh, but it it plays nicely. It does have um, it does have off TV play as well. So that means, jeez, oh, I got hit by weight there. That that means if uh, say, uh, when I'm playing on the TV, it shows exactly the same at the same time on the gamepad. So I can just really turn off the TV and it, I'd be playing the exact same game. So it doesn't really use the gamepad. It's more just has as an option of really playing as well. Totally beat the shit out of that guy. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna finish this race, and then we're gonna go on to the other mode, which is story mode. And that's one thing that's cool, because um, uh, some people that have seen this game actually, they noticed that it uh, did look like a Mario Kart clone, and it does. That's true. If you just see like this racing mode, it does look like a Mario Kart clone. However, that's just this is just one game mode of it, so you can't ba you can't judge it off, judge the entire game off this. So that's why I decided to uh, play some of the story mode, and the story mode's pretty cool actually. I've I've played around with it. Uh, there's a few cool things I need to mention, and um, they definitely they definitely try to make this more than just um, a flying game. And uh, there's a lot of like shaking. Uh, I missed a gate there too. With a lot of shaking of the. Uh, the sticks and dodging too. It's it's. N I'm gonna say again, it's not a bad game, but it's not a game that I'd really uh, say I didn't have a Wii U. I wouldn't. This wouldn't really be a game that I would buy the Wii U to get or to play. But it's still. It's not a bad game. I mean, it, if you got it as a present, I wouldn't just not play. It. I. I I have, I did admit that I had a bit of fun, I had some fun playing it, cause, yeah, so, there we go, finishing the race, um, gonna show you, it, it does get a glimpse of, like, the ranking system, oh, I got a new, uh, achievement there, I didn't, I didn't come first, as you can see, third, I should've won first, but there you go, so, like, you, you do rank up, you do get, I, I was cougar there, and I'm gonna do a quick little transition to the story mode. On the dance floor has left these titties too tired to roll home. Not to worry, the great El Chupacabra will offer his assistance as El Taxi Cabra. So, I I haven't seen the movie. I'm not even sure if it's out yet. But it's uh, you take be the characters from the game. Sorry, from the movie in this game, and you do some missions and this one specifically is get these little uh pities i think it's a really weird name pities uh to be like a taxi service l uh lucha taxi or i can't remember it just said and i completely missed it uh but a few things i'm gonna mention about this game uh there are four modes to it there are uh, air rallies, story, free flight, and balloon popping. I played all of them except for balloon popping, but balloon popping seems pretty straightforward. Uh, free flight. I've, I've I've shown you air rallies, which is just racing. 
story is this, and then free flight is you get to explore some of the big maps such as this one, and you get to get a good look at some of the maps, and there's just, it's really meant for exploring and uh, finding secret areas and whatever, because there are some, it, it, the maps are pretty well thought out, they do have those invisible walls that turn you around, and also they strengthen up the invisible walls up, so you can't go as high as you want, which I think they just make the plane stall if you try and go too high. Uh, anyways, it, it's it, it's two player. Uh, I haven't done it yet, and it's drop in and out. When I was playing, it did say uh, press plus to add another controller. So if you have a Wii remote, then you can pick up and then play at, whenever you want. You don't have to pause the game, quit the game, and then uh, jump in. You can just whenever you want press plus, and you'll be in game with them. Uh, a few things: there are ten playable characters. Obviously, the cast from the crew. Another interesting fact is actually Ding, excuse me, Ding Cook is in it, uh, the comedian, the once super popular comedian. I'm not sure, I haven't, I haven't heard of him in a long time, but he's in this, he's now, he's, he's the star of the movie, and he's also in this as Dusty, if that means anything. Uh, so yeah, there's 10 breathtaking environments inspired by the film, that's cool. Including this place and China and uh, Pop Prop Wash Junction, which is just like Dusty's hometown, which has like props and fields. And I'm crashing a lot right now. Oh, jeez. Um, El Lu El Taxi Cabra, that's his name. To what destination can these powerful wings fly you tonight? It definitely isn't trying to be anything. It's tr well, actually, it's trying to be more than just a flying game. It, it definitely is not simply a flying game. There's like these missions. Obviously, the plane's physics or realism isn't incredible because I mean you can like go really slow, which obviously won't make any sense. But it's a cartoon. It's 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 fun. It's it's fun for I guess a family game. I I did enjoy playing it while I played it. Well, I played it, of course, and it's not a bad game. I definitely, if, if you see this game uh, and you have a chance to play it, don't simply shrug it off because it looks childish. It, it, it's a fun game. It, if you like flying games, maybe it's not as realistic as you'd want, but it's a, it's a fun flying game. I'll, I'll say that. But anyways, the story mode is, it's not really a story mode, it's more like just random missions like this where you do these little things. Um, and that's pretty much it for Disney's planes. Uh, it's like I said, it's pretty fun. There is a it's a ranking system, so you can actually rank up. I'm not sure what happens if you get to the highest rank, but it there are there's quite a lot of content actually for just a game that may look like uh, a simple Disney uh, Disney movie game. But yeah, that, that's Disney Planes, and I'm Alex from ConstantCreatures.com, and I am done. See you later.